I bought this store from my father. We started in 1954 and moved a couple of places, but really we've been on the cor this present corner, this, what we kind of call our flagship store, our Keystone location. We've been on this corner since 1963 when I was three years old. So uh, I haven't left the corner. I have one brother, uh, but he never was interested in the business, but you know, I, it was something I, I liked. I enjoyed it and kind of always planned on, on doing it. And you know what, you know, school and books weren't exactly my forte. I did go to college, uh, just three days, uh, but it was a good three days. It was uh, rewarding stuff. So then uh, after the three days of college, I thought, man, I gotta get back to work. In my early 20s, I had already taken over and was running the, the business. And I bought it from my father when uh, uh, I was 29. I wanted people to be excited about coming to our store. And that's how in, in the early 2000s, I started thinking, well, what, what could we do better than the box stores? And that's how it started. We can't do everything better than the box stores. That we, don't, we can't, we don't have that kind of facility. So I picked five things. I picked five things that I wanted to be better, to be the best at in the market. And they were oddball things too. Green goods was a natural, we were already doing it. Uh, fireplaces, we wanted to, to gas logs and uh, built-in fireplaces. Uh, Mid-price patio furniture. Uh, grills, which we were already doing. And uh, the fifth one was artificial Christmas trees. So that's the odd one, right? We failed at uh, fireplaces, just didn't work. It, so we, we got out of that business because so, I always tell that because it's important. Everything doesn't work, but the other things work. I mean, they they took off and we became the place to go like artificial Christmas trees. We sell seven containers of artificial Christmas trees. It's very good margin. It's really good business. We now have gone a next step where we actually store people's. Uh, we set them up and store their trees for them. So people pay us. We uh, now maintain over 600 Christmas trees for our customers. And it's lucrative. It's a great service for, the, uh, for our customer, but I mean, it also keeps our warehouse guys busy at a slower time. I think the revenue on that was like $182,000 last year. So it goes a long way to pay warehouse expenses and it sells a lot of Christmas trees. I think it's really important to have uh, unique items I mean, yes, what's your core? Are you a hardware store? Fine, you're gonna be a hardware store. But then what else are you? Your hardware, and, you know, you gotta have a couple things that you're the very best at. We know you're good at hardware, uh, but what else? And, and then what's the entertainment part of it? Are people excited to come to your store? Because pretty much we all know they can buy whatever they want on the internet. But for us, it's like people come here for date night. You know, they come in, people love to, to look around you know, because of we, you know, do I expect? No, I, I realize all hardware stores, most hardware stores can't throw a restaurant into their business, but there's other avenues, you know, I would think for, uh, for entertainment, whether it's uh, cooking classes, uh, maybe you could set up a, a, be a quirky place to have a wedding shower. You know, wouldn't that be fun having a wedding shower in a hardware store, you know, and, and, you know, step up a little package where, you know, people would come in and they could, by, you know, whatever. So I, I think that there has to be, you have to be the very best at something. And I think that you need to make people in their daily lives have to go, huh, let's go there. When maybe they don't even have a reason to go there. No matter how small you are, you've got to be the best at something. Uh, you got to be a fun place to shop. I think as hardware stores, and we still do, but we all have, hung our hat on, it's like, we give really good service. Okay, everyone expects really good service, right? So now you're at zero, so now what do you have? So I, I just, being that unique, being quirky, every, you know, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to follow the same path. I think sometimes we're like, you know, we're so afraid to buy oddball things. I mean, we're selling uh, a, a package, uh, a self-contained package of uh, frogs, dwarf frogs. And people go, well, why, why would you sell that? Well, the main reason was that the booth that we bought them from was serving margaritas. So we ended up with frogs. We sold the frogs. Now we probably won't maybe not reorder those, but it's like, it's fun. I mean, having fun things, you know? So 
hardware is serious and hardware is going to pay the bills, but doesn't mean you can't have fun along the way.